Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge, and time for another Nature to Go. Now, I don't know about you, but this is what my lawn looks like right now. Yeah, not a lot of grass, but there's an awful lot of violets. And if you think about the old children's rhyme about roses are red, violets are blue, you may notice that these violets aren't exactly blue, they're kind of more purple. And that's actually the case, that most violets that we're seeing this time of year have sort of a purpley color to them. Most violets are recognizable because of the shape of the flower, two petals on top, two petals on the sides, and a narrow one at the bottom. And then the fact that most of the violets have large heart-shaped leaves. Once the flowers die back, a seed pod is formed. And then this seed pod, as it dries out, will twist and shoot the seeds all over the place. And then something really interesting can happen. A lot of the violet seeds have a fatty appendage to them. And this is called an eliazole. What this does is attract insects, like ants, who will carry the seeds to their nests and eat that fatty appendage and then abandon the seed as useless. But where the seed is left behind, is in the dump pile, which is actually this fabulous compost pile. And so the seed is able to germinate from that area. The ants help spread the seeds and the seeds provide food to the ants. It's a great symbiotic relationship. Ants aren't the only ones who use violets for food. Humans use it as well. Violet flowers are used in lots of ways. So you could candy them and then use them to decorate cakes. Uh, you can make a simple syrup and then flavor it with the violet flowers and then use that simple syrup in different kinds of baking you do or in cocktails. You can make the violets into a jelly. It doesn't have a real strong flavor, but there's just kind of a nice floral hint to it. And then people go the other direction and they actually will flavor vinegars to make interesting vinaigrettes that you could use in a salad you make that not only has violet flowers in it, but that actually uses violet leaves. If you pick the smallest leaves, the young leaves, they're very tender and that they add a nice component to a salad and also give you a nice boost of vitamins A and C. So whether they're blue or purple, or maybe they're white violets, or maybe they're white violets with purple lines, or maybe they're yellow violets, the group of violets are an interesting group of flowers, and this is the time of year to look for them, to find them, and maybe even enjoy them when you eat them. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go, and we'll talk to you again next time.